Well, Tuscaloosa has a very special relationship with the country of Japan, a sister city named Narashino. Lisa Keyes is the executive director of Tuscaloosa Sister Cities Commission. She's here to talk with us about how our sister city is dealing with the fallout from the devastating quake and the deadly tsunami. Lisa, thank you very much for being with us today. Danny, thank you for having me. We were talking before the show. You mentioned that, ironically enough, this is the 25th anniversary of the Sister City program, mm -hmm. and Narashino is Tuscaloosa's original sister city. That's right. We have two others since then but Narashino is the first, Was the right? first and continues to be strong and thriving all these years. Where There are frequent exchanges uh, with students going back and forth every other year. We, we, we tag team our, our exchanges in the summertime in the even numbered years, 2008, 2010 and so on, we go to Japan and in the odd numbered years we take students from the Tuscaloosa City Schools to Shorndorf, our German sister city. The so point. the most recent exchange was last June where students for. from uh, the city schools here went to, to Japan for two weeks and then we reciprocated an exchange with Japanese students in July. So it's an ongoing and very strong program. And you've had contact with, with people in Narashino since last Friday yes, when everything was, just went to heck in a handbasket, pardon my language. When the, when the news story broke, I tried and tried and tried to call my contacts, my colleagues and friends um, in Narashino, and I couldn't get through um, naturally enough. Um, finally, after several hours of, of calling at what would have been about 3 o'clock in the morning Narashino time, and they're about 13 hours ahead, of uh, Tuscaloosa, the phone rang with one of my colleagues there and I was amazed that the, the phone rang and there was a connection there. So uh, she was awake and watching news reports and said that um, in all her years in Japan, and they've learned from a very early age um, that, that you know, earthquakes are quite common. They have to learn through drills to get under tables or, or, or seek some sort of uh, protective environment, that uh, in all her years going through this, she's never experienced an earthquake like that one in Narashino. And Narashino is about 180 miles from Sendai, so just to kind of give everybody a, uh, an idea of the distance from the the coast where the earthquake happened um, off the coast of Miyagi Prefecture. Um, Chiba Prefecture is where Narashino is and about 180 miles to the southeast so they could feel it really strongly. And 180 miles would be from here to Montgomery twice just to give the folks at home some perspective. Yeah. So that's how powerful this earthquake was. Very powerful and um, I heard in, later from the community affairs section which works directly with the mayor's office in Narashino that the damage to Narashino was widespread. Um, of course they didn't have the tsunami. Um, Narashino sits on the Tokyo Bay south of Tokyo so um, there was a lot of road damage, there were a lot of uh, telephone lines down, the power was spotty everywhere, there were schools damaged, City Hall was damaged with glass and windows breaking, um, there were a lot of people without water for several days and because Narashino was built up uh, primarily, um, a, a big, large part of Narashino was built on reclaimed land, there are a lot of neighborhoods around Narashino that are on reclaimed land from the Tokyo Bay. So when there was a surge in the water from Tokyo Bay and the the, uh, the natural shaking of the earthquake, um, what happened was a, a problem called liquefaction where the sludge and water and the water table underneath the ground uh, compromises the integrity of the drinking water so they had no drinking water and that, that went on for days and days. Subsequently as a result of the nuclear, the problems going on uh, south of Sendai now, um, there are enrolling blackouts all across the Tokyo area, including Narashino, so many people don't have power um, throughout the day. So it's, it's, it's a long, daunting process to get back up to some semblance of normal, even in Narashino. All right. Well, Lisa, thank you very much for being with us. You can help the people of Narashino by making a donation at any Cadence Bank. Direct your contribution to Tuscaloosa Sister Cities Commission, Narashino, Japan, Disaster Assistance Fund. You may also send checks directly to Tuscaloosa Sister Cities Commission, Narashino Disaster Assistance, Assistance Fund, 1305 Greensboro Avenue, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, 35401.